before we dive into the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe because it will help my channel a lot and I'll appreciate you guys a lot for doing so. Love Nikki ads are basically notorious for being not Love Nikki related because there are a lot of things that happen in these ads that don't actually happen in the game. But before we get started, I'm just going to give credit to Shattered Earth for compiling the list and she got that list from Taylor Vance in the Holy Ads and Disciples who don't actually play Love Nikki Facebook group. So I guess the only way to actually get into this is just to dive right in because it's like I don't even know how to introduce these ads since they're so freaking weird. Listen, I lost interest in you. What should I do? Save love or let him get out? I mean, like, it's weird because he has a hickey and lips, like a big, big lipstick print on his little fluffy shirt. So I don't know what's going on in this scene. But I guess he wants to save love. So um, I guess, number one, he's not into maids. He's not into bunny girls, but he is into nurses. So that's that. that it's just like trying to find the right kink. And I guess before we continue on with these ads, maybe I should start by disclosing that these ads may not be appropriate for the age range of Love Nikki because the last time I checked this was a PG4, like anybody who's older than 4 can play this game, but these ads don't really reflect that. She just went to full dominatrix mode and that's a little alarming. I really like the suit though. If we have to be objective and kind of ignore the plot, that suit is really nice. I wish it came to our server because I really like those wings, but again, what the heck? So I guess we're going to move on to the second ad and Nikki's ask if we've seen her boyfriend. It's not what it looks like. Trust him or you're a liar. So this is kind of like the chapters game or the episodes game you see on Instagram. Love Nikki is definitely not that type of game. It's just a dress up game with a really cool story that doesn't revolve around cheating and stuff like this. There are a lot of deeper things in the story from what I know about it. But it's hilarious because if you looked closely at this picture, number one, Momo's in the background just being a total creep. And number two, there's a picture of Nikki in the room. I'm dead. And then for some reason, Mila comes out and gives her the best advice for whenever you encounter a cheater and that you deserve a better one. But the thing is, is that you don't have to change yourself. But for the sake of the story, let's go with it and not talk about the nuances about the situation. And she's just throwing eggs at the dude. <laughs> He's almost swaying, but of course. I think in one of the Love Nikki ads, he did fully swear. But this one was censored, I guess, and now Nikki is with a guy who throws eggs at the ex. Classy. And love Nikki. So this is on sale, the last one, and of course, Kimmy swipes it. Perfume is useless to aunt, so I'm assuming that she's saying that this woman is auntie-like because she's old looking. And then she's like, you'll regret this. Flash forward to a scene, she's getting blocked by somebody. And lo and behold, who is it? It's the one and only Bobo. Turns out she went under a very cool transformation and also stole her man during the process. So I don't know what the heck this is, but this is clearly, like it clearly does not embody what this actual game is. But I think we already established this and since this is like the third episode, every time I'm just saying this isn't what the game is. But there's actually a lot of people who downloaded the game to just see if it was like that. So I think it is a good marketing ploy. But it kind of makes the game a little trashy looking when it's not actually like that. Like this game has one of the best soundtracks ever and storyline and the character designs are really beautiful. But yeah, none of this whole shenanigan about cheating and um, changing yourself so that you can find a boyfriend who can throw eggs at another guy is actually in the game. And then we have another one where this is literally no, like there's no place in the game for this. There is no intimacy meter. You don't even get to dress up a guy like this. Like we only have a guy you can dress up in the other room, but you can't even really use him as a set suit. So that's disappointing. No more going down and he's blushing. So we get to dress him up as a waiter again or whatever he is or server. And now he's like this cool guy with an American Express card. Wow, you look so charming, heart, 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 heart. But before we go in, I'm going to have a shameless 
plug. Um, for those of you who didn't see my video of the unboxing of the July Totoro box, this is the Yume Twins sponsor I was talking about. I'm super, super excited to be in collaboration with this brand because I genuinely love their stuff. So if you have time, maybe check out the video. I'll link it above over here or at the end of the video. And essentially, it's just like a mystery box but with really cute things from Japan. And the reason why, like one of the main reasons why I really like this box is because there is literally free shipping worldwide and as a Canadian non-US resident this is a blessing because you get to save so much money on not spending it on shipping and then you get really cute stuff from Japan like this month's August's Totoro box. Okay, so enough of that. Thank you guys for listening to that. But let's move on to the, the let's move on to the next ad. So we have Cool Count Dracula over here, and he's fighting over the girl in the background with this <laughs> wolf, wolf. And then she's just getting into her outfit and saying, "Boy, stop fighting! I'm under 18. I can't be your wife." And you know what? I think that's great because, like, love Nikki. The ads. There are a lot of questionable things that they do, like incest relationships and like all that weird jazz, but at least they're not going to tiptoe on the line of weird like under 18 marriage. But I guess it doesn't matter anyways because they're not talking about marriage, they're actually talking about food. And she's like, what the heck? And I'm also like, what the actual heck? And before I can even process this, here's Dracula again. This time he has a surprise for her. And she's just going to dress up into something more elegant. And he asks her to marry her with a big diamond ring. But before we can just finish this story up, we have another surprise for her. Can you keep a secret? Okay. Um, that's cool he fully just went vampire mode on her. You know what, that's cute in a vampire-y type of way. Kind of reminds me of the time where Bella really wanted to become a vampire because she didn't want to go old like a little granny while Edward was young forever. I mean like if my boyfriend just came out to me as a vampire, like a real vampire, not just like identifying as one. I'd consider that because I feel like life's too short and I want to explore more things. And if I had an entire lifetime to do so, maybe I'd do that. But yeah, that's hilarious because there are two options and one it's like, it's a nightmare and the other one is like, cool, just bite me. <laughs> oh, I wish, I genuinely wish that this was a game because I would play the heck out of it just for the video. I've never ever seen a Love Nikki ad like this on Instagram or anything. Like I have been so unlucky to not see it and I literally have Love Nikki on my browser every day. Like do they know because I already use it they don't advertise it to me? Maybe, but it's been disappointing. But I do know a lot of people who have seen it before and they actually downloaded the game because they wanted to see what type of scummy game it is to realize that it was actually really cool. So if you have ever encountered a Love Nikki ad, which one was it? Let me know in the comments below. And yeah, I really appreciate you guys for watching this and staying with me. I love choosing the funnier ads or like the most shocking value ads that there are and showing it to you guys because I'm just like, what the heck, I need to show somebody. And I guess the developers or the marketing team actually did a really good job because here I am making videos about them. So yeah, if you like my content, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember to check out my Totoro box if you can. The unboxing video really, really, really means a lot to me. So if you guys can continue supporting me there, I would appreciate it a lot. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you all later. Mwah! Bye!